Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, uh, good morning to everyone. This is our 13th day of fasting and prayer. Uh, I am Pastor Vic Konsenko of uh, Merciful God Church here in the Philippines. Uh, Pastor Tim gave me the privilege to be part of our 21 days fasting and prayer. And our topic for today uh, will be about our pastors. Uh, we thank God for pastors and everybody will say Amen. And we will be praying for them later. And really, pastors need prayers badly in, in, in times, uh, in our times. And uh, our scripture reference uh, for today is found in uh, Jeremiah 3, 15. Uh, it says like this, Then I will give a shepherd after my own heart. Uh, I may repeat that, after my own heart, who will lead you with knowledge, who will lead you with knowledge and understanding. We all know that Jesus is the Good Shepherd, Psalms 23. And uh, for pastor to be a Good Shepherd, they must follow the footstep of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, just like the word says, it is not our might, nor by power, but by the Spirit of God. Uh, the pastors need the help of the Holy Spirit for them to give the real, the real care uh, that the people need, that they may, they may feel that they are being shepherded by a compassionate uh, uh, shepherd. Uh, and that can be done by the help of of the Holy Spirit. Uh, pastors should have a, uh, in, in reverential fear with God. For it is said here that uh, we will lead you with wisdom and understanding. For the word says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding so uh, pastors must remain in reverential fear with God reverential fear means that uh, we are we, ha we are uh, walking in the perfect will of God from time to time just like Proverbs 3 5 and 6 says trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him, and he will direct thy fight, uh, thy path. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 and 12 says, So Christ himself gave the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, pastors, teachers, to equip his people for the word of service so that the body of Christ will be built up. Amen. So pastors are gift from God and everybody say a big amen. Why? Because pastors are great intercessors, uh, pleading and interceding on their knees in behalf of uh, for his people. Uh, many times you are already in deep sleep but pastors uh, are, are still awake, praying and preparing uh, a messages that, uh, that are given uh, by God. So pastors are great intercessors. That's why uh, we need our prayers, and we will do that later. And uh, pastors are equipper by life and example. 
So, personally, I am thankful to the life of Pastor Ding. I am in the ministry because Pastor Ding has had equipped me. Uh, God used Pastor Ding to prepare me in the ministry. So, uh, pastors are a keeper. Uh, just like the word says, we can, uh, uh, the word in uh, Second Timothy uh, 3.16, that all scriptures are inspired by God and it is profitable for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and our instruction for righteousness. So, pastor should be a student of the word, for it is we for it is uh, we cannot share what what we don't have. So, how can uh, we teach uh, if we are not a student of the word? So, we cannot share what we don't have. So, pastor have shared what he ha what in uh, what uh, what I need in the ministry to me that's why i am in the ministry by now so i think in the life of my equiper pastor Ding. so pastors are equiper and we, we should be a student of the world or we cannot share what we don't have of course pastors are builder kingdom builder uh, we build the kingdom we equip people uh, for the king for the expansion of the kingdom not for the expansion of our local churches, but for the expansion of the kingdom. Of course, humility is the key to remain a, build, a kingdom builder. So we thank God for our pastor and let's have time for praying for our pastor. Our prayer points for our pastors are uh, God's anointing to be poured out upon them as they minister to others. So I mean, uh, I just want to mention these uh, uh, prayer points. So as you can pray, I may not all mention, uh, I, I may not speak all prayers that they need, uh, but uh, you can add to it. Uh, first point is God's anointing to be poured out upon them as they minister to others. Uh, point number two is God's protection of pastors from uh, from sicknesses, from temptation, and uh, uh, to have a good health. And point number three is pray for their families and uh, family. And number four is God's direction and guidance for uh, for their vision. So once again, I say. Uh, in join me in prayer. You may add. Uh, I may not mention all the prayers that they need, uh, but uh, uh, the Holy Spirit may uh, whisper to you uh, what to pray. And let's pray together for our pastors. Father God, we just thank you for all the pastors, Lord, oh God, all over the world. We pray, Lord, O oh God, that all pastors will remain in their anointing, Lord, O oh God. Help them, Lord, O oh God, to spend more time in their knees, Lord, O oh God. To ask, Lord, O oh God, and humbly, humble themselves before you, Lord. Ask for help, Lord, O oh God. That they may always, Lord, O oh God, stand and share your word, O God, with courage and anointing, Lord, O God. That they can stand firmly, Lord, O God. That the message, Lord, O God, that they are sharing, Lord, O God, it's a voice, voice that they have heard from you, Lord, O God. That we should not, Lord, O God, prove that we are a good uh, preacher, Lord, O God. But we should, Lord, O God, Prove that we can hear your voice to our knees, Lord, O oh God. So we pray, Lord, O oh God, that all pastors, Lord, O oh God, 
will remain in their anointing. Pour out your anointing to each every one of your servant, Lord, O oh God, that they can, Lord, not sure the people, Lord, that you have entrusted them, Lord, O oh God. Lord, we pray for their health, Lord, O oh God. We pray, Lord, O oh God, that you will protect every pastor from illnesses, Lord, O oh God. Give them, Lord, O oh God, a strong immune system. And we pray, Lord, O oh God, that you will continue, Lord, O oh God, protect them even in temptation. Lord, I believe, Lord, O oh God, every day, pastors, Lord, facing a lot of temptation. Lord, help us, Lord, O oh God, to overcome every temptation of the enemy. Protect us, Lord, O oh God, from the wiles of the enemy. Lord, we pray, Lord, O oh God, even, Lord, O oh God, every family's Lord of your servant, every families of the pa pastors, Lord, O oh God. Lord, in this time of pandemic, Lord, let your covering of your blood be upon, Lord, O oh God, every family members of the pastors, Lord, O oh God, for we believe, Lord, O oh God, that your blood is more powerful than this COVID-19, Lord, O oh God. Lord, we pray, Lord, every family of every every servant of yours, Lord, O oh God, bless them physically, financially, and much more, Lord, spiritually. I pray, Lord, O oh God, for every member of the family of every pastor, Lord, for more of you, Lord Jesus, and more of your presence. And we pray, Lord, O oh God, for your directions and guidance to every vision of the pastors, Lord, O oh God. That every vision, Lord, O oh God, of the pastor will come to pass for your glory alone. Thank you, Lord, O oh God, for all your servants. Thank you for the life, Lord, O oh God, of our pastors. Lord, pastors are indeed a gift from you. This we pray in Jesus Christ's name we pray. And everybody will say, Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Amen.